Eh di yeah. every anatomy, before anatomy, punta na lang kayo sa CR. Tanda ba kayo? Penis doc. Ha? Penis. Reproductive? Yes doc. Si? So, uh, okay, we will ano uh, and then uh, hopefully after the universal healthcare because this is important and by the time you take the board exam, this will be the part of your board exam. And also, I, if you will remember, I asked you, uh, I encourage you, you are here. Uh, you are here at PCM to be a doctor, no? not just to pass PCM. And after that, we will go through the process of infection so that we will see different DOH programs, uh, infectious and non-infectious, non-communicable diseases, and uh, uh, we call this uh, substance abuse, uh, neurologic, uh, mental health, and road traffic injury. Then you will now make a communication, your health promotion. Gagawa kayo ng mga commercial, infomercial. Uh, pero this time, it's strictly three, three minutes to five minutes only. Okay. That you are going to share to the public. So my point is yung, yung, ano, yung sharing. So that will be hopefully by by January, so you have time to create your own. You can have a jingle, you can have a, what do you call this? Yung uh, animation, whatever it is, but it has to be, this time it's very different from what you have uh, prepared sa country. Huh? This is really a communication of a specific program or uh, diseases of public health importance or even advocacy that you're going to do, like uh, drugs or uh, teenage pregnancy, something like that. Magaganda yung ginawa ng mga first year in the past. Okay, so UHC is RA11223. Hindi kayo malilito kasi it's RA11223. Okay. Uh, Dr. Belicano, ilan tayo? How many are present? 105 po, Dr. What happened to the rest? Okay. Uh, Nakaka-relate ba kayo dito? Sa mga talk of the town? Yung mga common people in your community will say, ay, paano mo malaman kung legit yung clinic? Safe ba yung gamot? Or meron na sariling ano, yung ibang clinic, wala namang tatak yung gamot? O. Oh. Tapos, confine na lang daw para makuha ng feel health pati gamot. Okay. Nangutang ako. Are, are these existing in your, or you have had experience? What can you say about this? Yes, Doc. Okay. Huh? Di ba, no? These are common things, no? Wala na daw kama sa charity, pinapalipat na sa pay and sa private. So, anong gagawin? Pati baka, ibebenta, lahat ng baboy, ibebenta para lang makaano. And yet, 70% uh, of diseases are still preventable. So, another one, oh, magpapatayo kung pati mo nasipin ng hospital kahit hindi kailangan, di ba? La Lora, pero na, meron kang, uh, what you call this, CT scan, no? Tapos yung iba may feel health, hindi naman nagagamit. Okay? Eh, priority naman ni XX ang palaki ng ospital. Eh. Hindi kami natulungan kasi hindi kami kakampi ni Mayor. Hindi kakampi ni Mayor si Gov. Real ba yan? Is it a real issue? Yes. yes. Yeah, di ba? Oo. So, nakakalungkot talaga ang ating uh, health system, no? So, uh, for this afternoon, we I want just want to introduce the salient features of Universal Healthcare Act, RA11223, 
and to learn about the local health systems related to RA1123 and the proposed changes for the IRR and to have a basic understanding about proposed managerial, technical, and financial integration and to be oriented about global health. So, RA11223, the Universal Healthcare Act, wants to ensure an equitable access to quality and affordable healthcare and protection against financial risk. We have been mentioning this in all the countries, ganyan ang gusto nila, that we have studied. And we are aiming that also. No? Another is to progressively realize universal healthcare through what? Systemic approach. Hindi yung, hindi yung pa paano-ano lang, yung band-aid solution. No? And hindi siya piecemeal, but we want a clear role delineate, delineation of uh, of the hospital and the private, the public, and the public health. Okay? So, the same as uh, any, ano, like the Alma Ata, the Astana Declaration, may mga declaration of principles sila, no? It should be integrated and comprehensive approach to ensure health literacy, healthy living, and protection from hazards and risk. So, if you will remember, yung COVID-19, takot na takot sila. Ngayon, parang wala nang takot. Okay na lang, di ba? Okay? And then, provide comprehensive health services without causing financial hardship. So, hopefully, this will be this will be materialized. Okay? And I hope this will really be materialized. Lang, huh? Okay. We we one of the principles is a whole of system, whole of government, whole of society approach in the development of health policy. Kahit na yung mga mangingisda or group of mangingisda, group of farmers, or yung mga mahihirap has to be uh, <coughs> consulted in order for us to mak makita natin kung ano talaga yung kanilang simpleng pangangailangan. As far as health is concerned. Okay? And it is people-oriented approach. It's centered on people's needs and well-being. Okay? So, Universal healthcare means healthy living, schooling, and working environments. Primary care provider team for every family. So again, this is the uh, Cuban approach. And health is, is health is predictable. Not lahat libre. No? And sa ano, kaya nga minsan sabi na, ay, hindi ako dyan. No? Pag hindi nila nagtitake care. Pag naman may bayad mo, saan kaya? A systemic approach to UHC in the area of the four pillars, financing, service delivery, regulation, and governance. Okay? So, in the financing, uh, we need to eliminate redundancy. So, meaning the DOH will finance the population base and the LGU like uh, immunization, TB dots, mga ganyan. Uh, vaccines, no? Lahat yun sa DOH or sa LGU. Like, wh while individual based in terms of client, no? In terms of uh, hospitalization, in terms of outpatient care, uh, it will be uh, the pill health, no? And then, uh, simplifying membership into two types only, direct and indirect contributory. And if you remember, this uh, membership is like... Uh, I think it is, I'm not sure, is it uh, Switzerland or something in European, no? And then pooling of funds from all individual base health services, yung Syntax, PubCore, and PCSO. And then improving the current provider mechanism, which is in the next slide. So, meron tinatawag na kailangan magkakaroon na ng ships into uh, diagnosis-related uh, mga, meron na siya mga CPGs, no? 
And then, uh, there will be a validated costing methods. For example, may mga groupings na yan uh, for pneumonia, meron siyang values na nakalagay doon. And then, hindi ka pwedeng mag-increase doon sa mga value na yan. Like yung Z-PAC for uh, Z-payment for cancer and all these things. So, nakaano na siya. There is no differentiation anymore between facility and professional fees. Another is develop differential payment considering service quality. Okay? In the service delivery, magkakaroon na ng contracting by network. And you have to designate a primary care provider as navigator. This is very important kasi uh, by the time you are doctors already, all hospitals uh, in the city or wherever you are, magkakaroon ng primary care provider. So ako, isa ako sa nagtitraining ngayon as primary care provider. So meron itong uh, life, uh, training and at the same time accreditation then. Okay? Another is consolidate the public system public system into province-wide or city-wide. City-wide, if you are highly urbanized or if you are a component city like Tacloban, which is a highly urbanized, and Ormoc as a component, in, uh, independent component city. Next is you have to improve pool presence per perspective of healthcare workers and securing of resources and retaining income for health through a special health fund. So, mangyayari doon, meron ng sariling uh, Sariling accounting or sariling uh, finance ang, ang health. So, pwede na mag-retain ng income yung mga facilities. Another is uh, feel health to contract public, private, or mixed healthcare provider networks. So that, uh, ang problema, ang challenge, no, not problema, ang challenge dito is all of these are electronic based. No? Kaya pag data submission, kailangan walang return to health facility or return to hospital. So, Peel Health and DOH to, to incentivize healthcare providers that form networks. Okay? So, in the province-wide and city-wide health system, it will be the provincial or the city health board shall oversee integration of health services. Question na pwede, ko, na pwede nyo ilagay sa utak nyo, is this possible? Is this workable? No? that there will be an integration kung mawala na yung grid. No? Kasi, for example, nagtatayo lang ng bagong hospital for a private. Do you think? Do you think papayag sila of this? No? And then, the City Health Board will manage the Special Health Fund and then they will exercise administrative and technical supervision over health facilities and human resource for health within their jurisdiction. And both municipalities and cities shall be represented in the board pag private pag private wide province wide ka and city wide mamaya meron ditong uh, organizational structure so the national kasi devolve nga yung health di ba the national government to provide technical and financial support to LGU that, that commit to province wide integration in the first 6 years and then managerial integra integration of province wide and city wide system within the first three years, and financial integration within the next three years. So, bali six years. Kaila, kay, dapat magsa-start na ito ng 2020. Kaya lang nagkaroon ng uh, ano to? COVID. So, upon positive recommendation by an independent study and by the Secretary of Health, all local health systems shall be integrated through issuance of an executive order by the President. Okay. Ano naman tong special health fund? Province-wide and city-wide health system shall pool and manage all resources in order to finance population-based and individual-based health services. Again, when we say population-based, it's Department of Health and LGU. Pag individual-based, it will be field health. So DOH in consultation with DBM and LGU shall develop guidelines for special health fund. Pero medyo ito ay natatako tayo kasi baka ang PhilHealth will no longer be under the attached agency of Department of Health. So, abangan ang susunod na kabanata. And then there will also be scholarship and training program. Again, I have to ano, kasi baka gusto nyo yan. Expansion of existing and new health-related degree and training programs and regulation of the number of enrollees based on needs 
expansion on of scholarship grants hindi lang hindi lang ah uh, hindi lang siya scholarship for medical students but scholarship also for uh, uh, the service agreement with uh, for example kung gusto ni Dr. Estigoy, Dr. Lumagbas na mag mag specialize in neurosurgery at PGH. Oy, 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 oy. Nakikita ka na mga estudyante ko. 200. Baba na. Bye bye. Love you. Gusto ni Dr. Estigoy mag-aral na uh, thoracic surgery sa sa ano sa san ba to sa Philippine Heart Center mga ganyan ba or si Dr. Belicano mag-aano siya ng uh, um, ano to ano bang mga sub 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 specialty no okay so then magkakaroon ng uh, uh, mga ano yan return to service and also Meron ding reorientation of health professional education, certification, and regulation towards provision of primary care services. Okay. Ito yung sinasabi ko. At least three years for recipients of government-funded scholarship program. Uh, marami dito nag, nag, uh, marami dito nag, uh, nag, nag residency, nag specialty sa PGH, and now they are here at uh, EVRMC for uh, return service agreement. And then, of course, the National Health Workforce Support System. Support to local public health system in addressing human health needs, especially to geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas. Okay, so we're done with... Uh, ano yung una? Regulation... Uh, ano, ano yung una? Financing, service delivery... And now regulation. So regulation, uh, there will be transparent pricing of health goods and services. So kaya nakalagay yung ano yung price ceiling and price uh yung drug drug price index, no? So alam ni ano yan, paturo ka sa ano sa mother mo, uh, doctor lumagbas ha. And then for the for the eto important ito ha the basic and non basic accommodation bed ratio if you are in a government 90% is given for basic and non basic education uh, basic accommodation pag government specialty like AVRMC, it's a highly specialized ano lung center heart center uh, kidney institute uh, pcmc lahat ng mga specialty hospital 70 are for basic accommodation 34 non-basic accommodation. Baligtad sa private, it's 10. 10, 10 is to 90. Okay? So, 10% will be given to basic accommodation. And then, there will be benefit complementation between field health and private health insurance and HMOs. There will be licensing for standalone health facilities, ambulatory and primary care uh, physician, no? Registry of healthcare providers. So basic accommodation refers to the provision of a regular meal, bed in a shared room, fan ventilation, shared toilet, and bath. No? Amenities refers to feature of the health services provide comfort or convenience such as private accommodation, air conditioning, telephone, and choice of meals among others. Pero sa palagay ko sa IPRMC, wala may telepono. Okay. So, the last but not the least, and the most important is, one of the most important is governance, no? So, there will be, hello, allocating funding and scaling up of health promotion initiatives, no? Later, we'll see you. At ito yung gagawin nyo, yung health promotion. Malay mo, yung isa na naano namin na health promotion has been, uh, they are still using it sa uh, basic occupation, ano, about tuberculosis okay mandating of health impact assessment for all programs policies and projects mandatory use of it system and submission of health data electronically ha even financial data by healthcare providers and suppliers and promoting fairness and transparency in benefits expansion through health technology assessment okay so 
if you want to be a primary healthcare physician, kasama-kasama dito, kailangan maipasa mo itong universal healthcare as one of the mandatory uh, training ng isang primary care physician. Okay. Governance, uh, health promotion is transforma transformation of the health promotion. Gagawin siyang health promotion bureau na. So, they are going to earmark 1% of total DOH budget for health promotion. Kaya gandahan nyo ha ang inyong mga health promotion uh, na presentation. Baka masama yan sa inyo. Okay? Deaf and schools to be designated as healthy settings. Incorporation of health promotion in school curricula. LGU to enact stricter ordinance to promote health literacy and healthy lifestyle. Okay? Another is the health information system, health service providers and insurance to maintain a health information system to be electronically uploaded on a regular basis through interoperable, inter, sorry, interoperable system. Okay? So in terms of enterprise resource planning, human resource, electronic health records, and electronic prescription logs. So, kailangan talaga mag-a-update na rin tayo. Ngayon, siguro, I think by the time you are clerk, puro ina. Ina, lahat. E-book, e-everything. No? So, uh, UHC in a nutshell is begin with this ends in mind. Okay? So, universal healthcare is about health Health literacy and healthy settings. Active living, healthy eating, tobacco-free. So, karamihan na mga healthy lifestyle-related diseases. No? So, the population coverage. So, all, every Filipino will have automatic inclusion into the National Health Insurance Program. It's either your voluntary or, or yung employed or yung voluntary. Diba? O yung mga indigents na pinatawag. So, the service coverage, immediate, immediate eligibility and access, comprehensive outpatient benefit, and provision of primary care provide. Of provide. Ibig sabihin, uh, primary care, you have the prenatal, you have the immunization, uh, basic curative care, yun yung mga primary care services, no? And then, Financial coverage, zero co-payment. Ibig sabihin, sana, pag na-hospital ka, wala ka nang babayaran. Kasi yan talaga yung nakaka-apek sa most people who are sick. Yung uh, katulad ngayon, may pinipirmahan ako na death certificate. Hindi, gusto nila mag-extend ng nine days kasi wala silang pambayad sa patay. Di ba? How can we do that? Na three days nga lang yung ano. So it means everyone wins. Filipinos patients are healthy. Yes. Hello. Hello. So, magi start with the health promotion. No, every Filipino, every patient are health literate. No, dapat alam na nila na kailangan ang bakuna, kailangan ang bata mabakunahan, BCG at birth. Uh, missiles at nine months, yung mga ganyan. And then also, uh, uh, they practice healthy lifestyle, they live in a low-risk environment, receive effective care without financial hardship. Okay? And then healthcare workers earn decent, predictable income and able to pursue career paths. Sana all. Ha? Sana all. Kayo na yata makikinabang yan. Okay? Suppliers of, of drugs, Devices and diagnostic diagnostic test that improve outcomes and or lower total cost find their products incorporated into treatment protocols used and reimbursed. Di ba minsan yung problema ah uh, nagpa check up ka nga pero ang dami namang pina request na mga diagnostic okay and then ah uh, payers can either be private insurers government or self pay individuals able to shape provider behavior towards quality and efficiency. And the providers earn a positive margin for producing good outcomes at low cost. 
Okay. So in the in the RA one one two two three, the organization of local health system. There are four sections there. One is the integration of local health system into province-wise. They attempted it already. Marami na yung mga nag uh, NDP sa inyo. You know this yung sa DOH. And then we have the special health fund for Section Twenty. Section 21, income derived from field health payments. And Section 22, incentives for improving competitiveness of the public health service delivery system. Okay. So, in the current public health system, you have the uh, office of the secretary. No? Under Jan, yung executive committee, meron siyang execom, Mindanao cluster, Visaya cluster, Luzon cluster. And then you have the CHD and the Central Office Bureau Unit. Okay, then you have the attached agencies, uh, Field Health, City Popula uh, no, Population Office, uh, Nutrition, National Nutrition Council, and specialty hospitals. And then on the other side is the Bansang Moro Autono Auto Autonomous Region. Okay, and then Attached also to the CHDs are the regional hospitals, medical centers, uh, drug abuse treatment and, re treatment and rehabilitation centers, and yung sanitaria. So from CHD under them, merong ano, if you remember, uh, it's a broken line. Meaning, if it's a broken line, there is no, uh, there, there is no direct supervision. Kumbaga, nag-network lang. So nandyan yung district. And city provincial hospitals, you have the provincial health offices. Pero, however, if you are a highly urbanized city, you have the health centers, you have the barangay health station, and the attached city hospital. So, all in all, in the Philippines, we have 16 uh, Center for Health Development, 81 provinces, 33 HUCs, 5 independent component city. 100 component cities, 1,489 municipalities, and 42,405 barangays. Okay? So the proposed, the proposed public health system is still the same, except that, anong kaibahan? Parehas lang naman. Ano? I think in the, uh, andito pa yan. Okay? So, Sa, sa current, may city health officer kami, assistant city health officer, administrative and operations. Sa bagong current city, ano, dapat dalawa ang assistant city health officer. CHO1, CHO1, CHO2. Tapos merong assistant city health officer for administrative, assistant city health officer for operations. Okay? So the same with the province. Okay. So, sa city, sa city, ano, na, uh, kasi ang highly urbanized city, city pareho sila ng uh, structure, okay? So, the city health officer will be the health service delivery manager with service delivery management section. And then, there's another P city health officer there kanina, no? yung assistant city health officer who will be in charge on operations, admin and operations. So under the service delivery management section, nandun yung hospital operations, primary care health facility operations, and public health programs implementation. And then of the same level, nandun yung health systems management section, logistics, governance, procurement, health financing, and health regulation. I don't know kung paano ito matutuman in the context of a highly politicized country like the Philippines. Okay? So, yung sa current HRH management, you know what? The wage rates is based on LGU income class. So, pag ikaw ay first class municipality, medyo mataas ang iyong salary. Okay? Ito, nice to know lang yan. Hindi na natin yan. Okay. So, uh, this, is, this is important. 
in the current health board, board compos composition, the provincial or the city health officer is the vice chair, okay? But with the new setup, it will be the chair of committee on health of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan or Sangguniang Panglunsod will be the vice chairperson, the PHO and the secretary, uh, the PHO and the city health officer will be act as the secretariat to the board. So you have the DOH representative, the PHIC representative, the IP indigenous population representative, representative from people's organization, NGO or private sector, and then from municipalities and component cities. Okay. So the same, the same kaya lang ito, ang difference lang, uh, wala yung mga mayor kasi for the province yun. So aside from what is written in RA 7160, uh, the City Health and the Provincial Health Board, again na, Ang city health dito are the highly urbanized and the ICC. Oversee and coordinate the integration and delivery of health services across the healthcare continuum for province-wide and city-wide health system. That includes all the birthing centers, the hospitals na mag apply ng primary care facility. Manage the special health fund, exercise administrative and technical supervision over health facilities and health human resources including appointment and other personal action within their respective territorial jurisdiction. Magandang, maganda siya tignan, but I don't know how it will be implemented. Okay. So, the current allo budget allocation for health, dapat it will always pass through the sanggunian, no? Tapos nandyan yung field health, nandyan yung LGU budget. So, lahat yan, Primary health care, public health programs, health homes, no health operations and maintenance, health resources for health, and hospital. So health and hospital, public health. And then all of them will have an, a grant no, from the Department of Health, but also there should be an LGU budget for health. This one is the same. Nice zero. Okay. So Question, why is there a need to integrate a local health system? Okay, ito na yung mga issues talaga. One, as a result of devolution, no? there's inadequate national government policies to assign accountability and coordinate with LGU. Kahit pa merong DMO or DOH representative, no? uh, development manager officer, hindi pa rin nakakaya. So, and then there is a weak local capacity to manage health system at the local level. Anong result? Fragmented service delivery and financing, wide variation in access to services, resulting to poor health systems performance. So, parang ganun na lang, maghihintay na lang yung tao na mamatay. Okay? So, what are some of the lessons from past experiences and cons consultation? Nung merong interlocal health zone, ILHC, um, nagka-problema, there are failures in fund pooling. So, sa, new, sa universal healthcare, nakikita ko rin na magkakaroon ng problema na ganun. There is a poor private sector participation and usually, the nature of responsibilities are all ad hoc kasi you are at the mercy of the governor or mayor, di ba? So, dun sa mention, nagkaroon na SDN. No? But the problem is, there, there should, you should strengthen the gatekeeping kasi nauubos na lang yung pondo na hindi alam kung, kung talagang for indigent na gagamit yun, no? And then, uh, delineate service packages, interlocal health zone as a platform and community mobilization. So, ang pinopropose nila is a redefined service delineate Delivery Network. SDN is a service delivery network. Population defined service delivery, geographic, physical, and financial access, beyond services specific to holistic care, multiple models, technical management oversight, network based pooling of funds. Okay. So, anong sinasabi natin na may managerial integration? No? Uh, pag sinabi natin managerial integration, this is an 
integration of governance structures and mechanisms in province and citywide local health system. Under the universal healthcare law, the provincial and city health board shall exercise oversight on local health system and manage the special health fund. I don't know, baka magkagulo-gulo ito, no? Because of greed. Okay. So, the point of integration is on technical, managerial, and financial. So, sa technical integration, nandiyan na yung mga programs, mga deliverables. Pagdating naman sa financial, nandiyan yung special health fund. But managerial integration is consolidated administration and management of public resources both at the province-wide and city-wide level. So, nandiyan yung HRH, health facility, health information, and health technology and medicine. So, kasama na ngayon palagi yung health technology. So, uh, developmental pathways toward local health system integration, there should be, nagkakaroon kasi ng virtual or real integration Yan ang inaano nila because of what is happening right now. However, uh, in the context of local health system, maganda na highly urbanized tayo kasi isa lang yung papakisamahan natin. Kung province-wide ka, for example, Leyte has 41 or 42 municipalities, lahat ng mayor na yun should be part of the province-wide uh, health system. The problem is kung, kung hindi magkasundo si mayor at si governor. Pag sinabi natin real integration, uh, it refers to an arrangement wherein ownership of facilities, technical and managerial supervision of staff, and management of finances are under single organization. Pag sinabi naman natin virtual, it refers to the exercise of supervision and financial management of a healthcare delivery network through a system of agreements and contracts. For example, uh, Wala kaming, ano, wala kaming uh, laboratory ang City Health Office. And we apply for a primary care facility. Ang pinakamalapit namin na ano, pwede kaming makipag-agreement, contract agreement with St. Paul's or contract agreement with EVRMC Magsaysay. Okay. So the, the features of this is in the real integration, the, the ownership will either be the province or the city, hiring and supervision of staff, again, province, fund management, province, a virtual mix, no? uh, individual or the province. However, ang maganda dun sa enterprise is talagang ano siya, it's like uh, uh, talagang earning, no? hindi yung lahat libre. So, at, this is just a sample. So, they tried this in uh, in uh, Bataan Healthcare, one Bataan Healthcare. So, meron, meron dun sa province nila, meron different one, two, three, four, seven healthcare, health facility under one level three hospital. So, nagkaroon sila ng healthcare home, no? Ang tawag nila dyan. So, uh, universal healthcare, they want to engage the private sector in order to expand scale and scope of service. A uh, capital investment, there will be risk health and reduce inefficiencies. Okay. So, what are the requirements for private sector partnership? Clear, transparent engagement. Uh, binding contracts, payments cover, uh, full cost plus reasonable markup, and supportive regulation. Importante yung supportive regulation. Okay. So, the aspiration is uh, better patient experience and outcomes through management ensures what? Ensures patients are facilitated and enabled to enter into a health system. It is still patient uh Patient focus, no? Confidence. So, 
nakamat na sila. Okay, team approach to care to cover all patient needs. Or putting all other resources. Technical terrain, uh, we need to discuss the activities of the technical integration and of the technical working 